What's up YouTube, Tom Trossi here, and this is probably one of my longest videos that I will be having on this channel. Today, I am going to be conquering my number of Wave 62 for Stellar Interfaces of the Mode, Endless Mode. Now you might be saying, what's Endless Mode about? Well, Endless Mode is basically the same stuff you get in Normal Mode, minus the software screen, minus the missions, and minus the map screen. But the trade-off is, is endless, endless waves of enemies. Basically, this is like Firefight or Horde Mode from previous, you know, games like Halo or Gears of War. But this is a, you know, roguelike space shooter, shooter up kind of game. So, let's jump into Endless. And I figured I'd do this now because we are halfway through our progression for defeating all the overlords. So, I figured, why not have a a good challenge right now. So I'm gonna run my usual ship, which is the machine gun combo ship. I also selected my own music for this run because while the jukebox mode within this mode is great, if you don't have all the stages unlocked, all the bosses beat, you're not gonna have a great palette of music. So I'm gonna pick it hand choosing what songs I want to play for this. Sorry, uh, Imagination Overflow. I just want to have my own music choice. And like I said, this will be a long video. I expect a lot of you probably not to watch it thoroughly entirely through the whole thing, which is fine. I'm letting you know now, this is what to be expected. But this is also endurance match. There'll be some surprises. There'll be some formations we have not seen before. And I'm not going to cut anything. I'm not even going to jump cut anything. Like I said, this is going to be a long video. If I were to jump cut stuff, norm mode takes about 40, 50 minutes. But anyways, so I'm going to load all these cartridges up, and we are going to get right into it. So, hitting faster would seriously hurt. Yes. Damage for the price of health. Yes. Damage flows increase. Yes. Sylvester, why not? Can weekly volume one. Let's increase our fire rate. Yes. Malware is a consumable, which will disable enemies weapons temporarily. I'll pass up with that. I don't need Cyclops. Hammer type is also another consumable. Stops enemy navigation temporarily, but that's what happens. Barter, yes. Trojan Bull, chance to damage all enemies, yes. Mix Kotal is basically when you have missiles that come out, yes. Iron Skin, yes. Royal Flush, uh, this is a, Royal Flush is a random, uh, high tier perk, so, yes, Merchant, no weapon, have a free upgrade, really doesn't apply to Endless, so we're gonna skip that, Copycat, yes, Black Hole Grenade, yes, 20% increase in speed, let's, yeah, let's load all those cartridges up, woo, let's make this powerful. So, Endless, this is the Endless map screen, so basically you get to see what you need to do when you do Endless. So there are certain drops that are happening in Endless. You have health, you have software, you have cartridges, consumables, and weapons. So things you want to pay attention to as you go through Endless. Cartridges are great because you can bulk up on cartridges that you can use later on in other uh, runs, whether it's Endless mode or Normal mode. You have software, which will increase your ship as you go. So yes, you can potentially make your ship like a boss in Endless from the very beginning. Challenging, but doable. Health, you just recover. And you can pick up consumables along the way. There's actually a special consumable in this mode. I'm not sure if you can get it in normal mode, but it's a special one in Endless. So, all right, YouTube, I'm done rambling. Well, I'll keep rambling as we go, but I'm done rambling on the basic stuff. So, let's engage this endless run all right so here we are I have a tiny little ship I have Sylvester and I am just pretty much OP at the moment not super OP but just OP right now we're dealing with a formation that I have pointed out in the past with normal mode that does occur when you play normal mode as you progress and getting the overworks as you can see, my stats are way up to begin with. I have a 10.5 fire rate, my damage is 4.2. Here's all the cartridges we installed. Let's give you an idea. Wait a minute. I don't remember getting humble doubled two times. I must have picked up when I killed the enemy ship. I'll have to go back at the footage. 
I don't remember picking up another humble double. We're already off to a great start. So, and we could stay invisible if we wanted to. And I do have other consumables, like I said, the black gold grenade, which you can see me switching through on the bottom. Yeah, so this is the most powerful run I've ever done for an endless run. I never had this many cartridges enabled. I played endless load in the past on Steam and Xbox, but this, oof, I am going to go for a long run. When I get defeated or eventually hit a game over screen, there will be a screen letting me know how much time has passed in playing this. So as you can see, I picked up some health, I picked up some soft software cartridges, not software cartridges, software uh, things, software things. And I'm just, I'm basically aiming myself to become really powerful. I'm grinding through these formations, wave formations. I'm already up to wave six. Even the high powered speed variations are not doing it for me. I do have to be careful because I do not have a health perk yet. I'm hoping to pick it up as we go. Alright, increase my fire rate for trade in some health, I think. I don't quite remember, I'll have a look at it eventually. So I have to be careful. Especially this kind of formation because they all like to unload. And I'm getting software drops like crazy. OC, OCDR missile will apply because they don't have any missile drops or missile weapon types. I'm using just machine gun. Yeah, let me just check something. What did that do? Yeah, fire rate for the price of speed. Okay, so I lost a little bit of speed, but because I haven't the two humble doubles, my speed was already what, three points higher than it should be? So I'm already comfortable with this. This is fine. I'll definitely trade a slight amount of speed just to have a really increased fire rate. It's not Alpha 4, but Alpha 3 is pretty good. And we're already at Wave 10. Which is fantastic. Also, the high background is called Hex. So my bad on the previous part of me trying to explain that. You know this endless mode will be out of order, because I do want to like keep normal mode and endless mode separate. So what I mean by previous part, look at part four. Just to clarify. I also don't continuously talk during a playthrough, so this is the first time I'm gonna have to be challenged to continuously talk as I go. We're already coming up to the first boss. Which could be anything. It could be Holo Mallow, it could be Bali, it could be Winter, and it could be the Hive. We'll have to wait and see. Silver Day? Sure. Sylvester? Sure. I'm still I'm still pretty OP. 13.7, 4.5. Bali will go down pretty quick. Not as quick as Lost Eagle quick, but pretty quick. Gotta be careful, because that could have ended me right there. That's the thing I gotta watch out for. These gravity... These gravity things. They are the worst. They will literally take you out. Without... Without missing a beat. And with, uh... And with having Cloak, I could do that. So I was able to stay protected without losing any health. I also gotta be wary of shotgun. You know I have iron skin on, which I can take. I can take some damage. I will also lose my power. So, ooh, yes! Give me some joy. Give me that joy. There we go. Now I have a health perk. Oh god! I got big. That's the one thing I did not want to pick up because I lost more speed. Ah, software, stop it. So that bro fuel thing is what made me big. Not a fan of it. Next boss, space winner. Come at me, bug. Yep, I'm just gonna tear you apart. Alright, come on, go around me. Nope, I don't want myopia. That does not help me. Myopia, in layman's term, is basically... It makes your weapon type, uh... 
No, it's not Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame's like a shorter fire rate, but Myopia basically has your weapon type uh, spin around in like a circle. It's it's not super great. I'm already up to five drones. Well, four drones plus a bonus ship of me. Which is nice. I've also collected a decent amount of consumables. Now that's a blaster I could switch to, but I'm not going to switch to it just yet. Just because there's not much for me to do with it. Oh, I switched to it anyways, because I had to switch to consumables. That's the downside when you play Endless. So if you do see a weapon type and you're switching your consumable, it's the same button. So you're going to lose that weapon no matter what you pick. Just because of that button quirk. So I'll have to wait and see if we have another weapon drop. I'll just switch it to another machine gun at some point. Dex 4 is helpful because I can dodge more. You know, I already have the dimensional axis thing. Pick up some flamethrower. Flamethrower is really good. We're going to have another space winner engagement. I'm going to show you some other consumables. So flamethrower is pretty powerful. There we go. We have a now a safe snake formation that came up that's higher in power and damage rate. So, once again, be on guard. Another snake formation. I love when snake formations just keep coming. I also got Silver Day, so I'll keep me potent for a while. I'm going to activate the Dodge Oven, get rid of some of these meteorites. We have now completed three bosses. So, I'm going to give you a, another hint. When we get to wave 31, I don't know what boss we're going to face. It could be Mallow, it could be Bali, it could be the Hive. But, by the time you hit 31, you'll now be engaging with two bosses. Gotta increase that difficulty. That's what's, what's, what, that's pretty much what's necessary. Again, these meteorites, yes. Make me even more powerful and faster. Thank you for dropping in on it. OCDR cannon. Love it. Get rid of these ships. Especially the carriers. Goodbye, carriers. Not a big fan of you. So I definitely have a decent amount of fire rate. Fire rate and firepower. Okay. That was easy. Before we hit the next boss stages, I'll do a stats check. Okay, here comes the next boss. Here we have stats. So because I picked up the blaster, my fire rate dropped, but my damage went up, which is not a bad thing. So blasters are useful. A little bit more useful than machine guns. You're basically trading, you're trading damage for fire rate. That's the layman's term. Here we are with software pickups, just to give you an idea what I have. Most of its cartridges, like I said. Uh, pretty much after Lover's Cloak is what I've been picking up. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty beast right now. We should be able to make it to wave 100, no problem. Here we are, boss combo. So there's the hive. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta be careful, winner. Winter can take me out one shot, so I have to be wary of Winter as I go. I don't mind taking some damage. I have... Oh, yeah. Let me just use Black Hole. Black Hole decimates Winter pretty good. Consumables that are useful against bosses. That is one of them. It doesn't help that the Hive is also attacking me at the same time. Oh. Up, oh, up, oh, woo, woo, that was close. This is what I was talking about in part four, where Winter could just easily split apart and could easily take you out. So be very careful of Winter. He's not a joke. All right, next set of bosses. Or no, it's just Mallow. Okay. 
Fun fact, Mallow can also have wave formations built in. Right now, I think it's just basic Mallow. Let's just take him out. Black Hole Grenade can easily decimate a Mallow. Just so you guys know. Basically, Endless Mode allow me, will allow me to give you tips. Tips of how you, you can decimate Normal Mode really quickly, too. But Endless Mode is also powerful and challenging. Look, look at this chaos. We already, got, we already got the chaos ensuing right now. I'm not dealing with that mess. That's two fast formations, ver basically variations that we've dealt with in the past, but too quick for me to handle. Thank God I got a lover's club, which allowed me to survive. Okay. Get through these formations. Ooh, another software drive. Beta, that's going to slow my ship down. I'm going to avoid it for right now. Beta allows me to increase my damage and fire rate, but... It for a trade for a trade off of health and speed most of the time. So we're not picking up any betas. If we do it'd be it will be by accident. Like it was we're getting that fuel, that broke fuel thing. So right now I need to get the opposite of bro fuel and get little fuel to transform me back to the regular size. Once I transform back to the regular size, my speed will return to where it should be. Along my my spaceship size, but for me to find it is gonna be a little bit challenging. Definitely gotta pay attention to my health, but because I pick up a joy, I should be okay for a little while. All right, next set of bosses. Double Bali. Okay. Well, Black Hole Grenade is also just as useful against Bali. They can pretty much eliminate any boss really quick. Gotta dodge him for now. There we go, one volley down. Come on, get out of here, volley. I don't need your volley es escapades right now. Eat it. This is a bug. This always happens when you play against two bosses. It's just one of those things that's common that's common to happen. We got the flamethrower on. So far, so good with the health. Alright, what? Nope, that's missile digest. I don't need missile digest. So I'm not running missiles. Those ships, so we get rid of those gravity things. I know I'm taking some damage, but I'll be okay. Another reason why I like endless mode is because you have multiple, multiple formations that can just come out of nowhere. It's a lot more fun. Where normal mode, I don't know if you have multiple formations, and you also have mixed formations. There's a cartridge. Ooh, ooh, let me pick that up. Ah! Another joy, perfect. That allow me to heal. The more joy, the more healing powers I can get. I gotta watch out for the shotguns. Those big ships can take you out quite easily. Alright. I gotta switch. I fought the hole? Damn, now I can just become a black hole. Perfect. Didn't do much, but there we go. There we go. Didn't realize I picked that up. Sweet. That's going to be helpful. Oh, shotgun, shotgun. Shotgun like crazy. Go. Not a machine gun. I picked. I see a blaster. I've seen shotguns, but no machine guns just yet. Winner in Bali. Okay. I'm gonna switch to black hole grenade. Oh, at least space where came up first. 
Blur's easier to take out. I'm just gonna throw the black hole just in case. Okay, that's not helpful. Get out of here. Yeah, winter can have some weird, weird, crazy, spontaneous occurrences, so I have to be careful against winter. We are at wave 46. We are making record timing. My my goal basically is just get to wave 100. Wave 100 for YouTube. Wave basically wave 100 for our achievement so far with Stellar Interface. Being halfway through the game. I wasn't paying attention to the combo. I think it's Bali and Winter again, right? Yep, it's Winter again. Get out of here, Winter! No one loves you. I have to be super careful plus lag. Yep. 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 I'll take the I'll take some damage, but I just can't get I just can't get hit by Winter's mouth. Alright. I need to focus here. I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Just gotta make sure his mouth's not near me. There we go. There we go. Sometimes you can cause some weird shit to happen. Thank God for that power. All right, now we got some three winners going on here. Oh, I'm, I'm breaking the game a little bit here. Four winners! Come at me, winners! Whew! Gotta play this game. That that winner's just bugged right now. Let's get rid of that winner. Come here, winners. Get all get all up in here. There we go. Now I can focus on Bali. See that that's the craziness you gotta watch out for. Especially if you're not OP enough. And I picked up the wrong weapon of choice. Like, I got the machine gun I wanted, but not in the right slot. And it doesn't help that I have a big ship. Especially when I have to go get Splinter. Alright, get out of here, Bali. There we go. That. Okay, I don't know why I'm not. Well, I think I I I broke the game. I broke the game. Yep, I broke the game. Not sure how I broke it, but I broke the game. This can happen from time to time with Endless. It's not a perfect game, guys. Okay. Alright. Here's the problem. Because I'm quick right now. Nope. Still the wrong machine gun. Well, I know Magic Show Flow is not going to be happy with me breaking their game on the Switch. Not sure how I broke the game. Probably something to do with me with bashing Winter like crazy. That's my guess. I mean, like I said, I could just bash enemies and it'd be fine. Which kind of defeats the purpose. Because that tells me Winter can't kill me anymore. Let me see my stats. Okay, yeah, my stats-wise are fine. But I'm not sure what maybe, what maybe broke the game. Other than what I did... What I did to Winner. Yeah, because I can't... I'm not... Stuck in my permanent boost. Or permanent dash mode. That was actually glitched long ago with uh, Stellar Interface. Especially on Steam and on Xbox. But I could just keep bashing away and not lose any health. 
which is fine with me. So basically, YouTube, I've became, oh, like, basically unkillable. Which is sad because I, I like a challenge with Endless, but if, if I hit a bug, there's not much I can do about it other than to restart, which I don't want to do. I want to actually make it to 100, whether it's a bug or whether it's not a bug. All right, so maybe we'll see Holber Mallow's true power now. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So Mallow gets super strong as we go. I didn't even damage him. He's just already attacking me. But killing... I guess killing the formation still causes a bug? I'm not sure. He just, he's just getting wrecked. Let's cause him to get wrecked really quickly. Still don't know what, though. I'm not even doing anything to him. Alright, can I... Nope, I still can't get the right... I'm never going to change that top one now. I'm really stuck with that weak blaster. Cool. Let's just get rid of these ships. Get rid of these lasers. More lasers. Alright, next bosses. Next set of bosses. Let's see if Winter can actually kill me. If Winter kills me, I will concede and this endless run will come to a complete halt. Winter kill me. Nope. Winter can't kill me. But I can kill Winter. I apologize for the lag that this will cause. I'm going to try to see if we can get faster. Come on, come on, come on game, work with me here. So this is the unfortunate, sad truth about Stellar and Face. Right now, I did let the Imagination Show flow about the bug that I found in part four, but I have no clue why we are having frame rate drops. So that's something that I need to get fixed winter-wise. I'm pretty much going to try to keep using the consumables because that's what's going to help me get through this boss quicker. Fire rate, I could definitely kill him, but it'll take a bit. And unfortunately, because of the fire, uh, frame rate, I need to... This is the only... This is the only quicker way, basically, through the frame rate issue. That guy I picked up... I fought the hole. This is how you make a space donut. Space winner donut. Come on. There we go. Because of the frame rate drop, I'm I if I do have enough frame rate drop, I will cut I'll I'll speed this up. How about that? That way we're not stuck watching this forever. Come on. Frame rate's getting a little bit better. Okay, this is not bad now. Ed Atrocity, do your thing. That's lottery. Oh, wow, I picked up a lot of the two more going away. Okay, well, flame thrower it is for now. Winter Tally should be able to kill me. Just just for the record. Okay, so I'm out of that. Let's activate Flamethrower. Alright, Winter's gone. Let's just get rid of Bali. Let's get out of here, Bali. Let's 
speed this up. That'll work. Okay, so we're at wave 58. Pretty cool. Yep, even Bully's attacks won't kill me. I've become unstoppable. I just picked up the the elixir. Neat. Get rid of that. Sweet, pick up the cartridge. Speed it up again. Yeah, my whole intention was basically get through this with not not with ease, more well, with difficulty. This was not what I was expecting, unfortunately. Well, hey, there's a torpedo pickup. Okay, speed this up. Two space splitters. Oh no. I'm going to speed this up more. I apologize for the weird frame rate scenario. out of here. Alright, now we resume. Is that another? It is another. Oh, no, it's Y2K. Okay. So anyways, I have yet to crash Endless on the Switch version at least. But it's a, it's a shame that there are frame rate issues right now. So I'm hoping this footage will help Magic Show Overflow figure out what happened. And hopefully we can get this fixed so you guys can appreciate this mode. It's an ongoing process. Nothing's easy. I'm not a game designer, I'm not a game coder, but I do feel bad when this kind of hits the fan. Okay. So, I'm still moving pretty quick as a big ship, so I can definitely do my cosine sine waves. But I would like to find the other fuel. Alright, ships, get out of here. So I'm hoping this endless run gives you an idea of how many possible wave formations you can endure. Yes, we have had some duplicates. But that's expected. Bolly combo. I can handle bolly combo. That's fine. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm getting side bolly so I can weaken it faster. Actually, just getting stuck with two bollies. That works out better. So you can do this with bollies. I, I would recommend it just because suddenly I should not even be alive because of what I've been enduring, but this will speed up the process since I forked this run to begin with. It's it just it's it's sad. Cause this is definitely a fun fun game mode, especially the trade-off from a normal run. Normal runs don't really 
I mean, they're fun, but you have to every every replay you have to build your ship. Same thing with endless mode, but endless mode's not horrible. I'm just not sure what maybe caused the glitch. Okay, so we do have one winner. I'm just gonna keep using the flamethrower. And here we go. The winning frame drops. So I'm kind of glad I did. I did overpower myself. I was hoping for the Rudy. The Rudy, sturdy Rudy upgrade to fix it, and didn't. Okay, so, if you guys didn't see it, I was hoping for Rudy's sturdy upgrade to reset my health. It didn't, it didn't reset. Winner didn't even kill me. So, I'm stuck firmly destroying this game right now. What have I picked up? I picked up the bomb. Sweet. That... Okay, don't know what happened there. Lost footage connection for a moment, not sure why. Yeah. So, like I mentioned before, I love when I find these fast formations because it's a lot more hectic when you have to worry about your health. And you're constantly engaging with those formations. There's a mode I will discuss at a later time that has to deal with those particular formations. I just can't yet. I really can't. Alright, hello, Mallow. This should be easy enough to kill. the wave formations are getting decimated at the same time. Another thing to keep in mind, as you go with Endless, the boss's health increase, their attacks increase, their moving, their moving speed increases in this matter like Volley or Winter. So this is why now it's taking me a lot longer to get through Mallow, to get through Volley, to get through Winter. Hive it should be just as quick still. But yeah, like look at it look at how fast Mallow's attacking me now. That's not a normal Mallow. Like this Mallow's just lost it. He's just like Don't let go of the firepower. Just keep firing. So we're just gonna take him out now. There we go. Get through these ships. Okay, I'm at wave 80. So I'm definitely making some headway. Next set of bosses. Okay, the Hive and Space Winner. Alright, let's speed it up. Alright, I'm gonna use the bomb. That was a big explosion. That helped me out. Actually, quite consistently, too. Let me keep in mind. Alright, I was able to switch my third weapon. So now I'm running full axe, T, ash pool, and chopper. So I'm running two blasters and a machine gun now. But because I'm using. 
pole axe. I think pole axe is a heavy machine gun. Mean machine gun. So that's why I'm also moving slower when I fire. Another cartridge. Sure, we'll take some more cartridges. Try to get through the hive right now. Hive has been decimated. We're almost at 100 YouTube, almost. You almost taste it. Like I said, I'm not really gonna cut any footage like I have in the past. I know I've had a period of time where I've been silent, but that's because I'm just trying to figure out what happened with the game, why it bugged the hell. Like it just did. The only part I will edit is when we have the frame rate drops. I'll leave the first part mostly unintentional, but I will explain to developers that this this was a tragic run, but a useful run because now it could maybe figure out the the root of all problems, the root of why this happened. Right. Wave 86. So I'm hoping maybe by the time we get to this again, after we get all the bosses completed, hopefully we'll have this sorted out and fixed. And if we don't, I'll be sad. I may even do a highlight version of this just because of how long this video is. Just so it's easier to consume. But if you're watching this long, with me on this journey, I do heavily appreciate it. Because to watch someone play endless run like this is it's an endurance. Like I said, it's like firefight. It's like the horde mode. It's an endurance match. There we go. I gotta have the bomb on hand when I, uh, when I deal with winter. Well, that's my only way to get through winter, and it's lagged right now. It's using the H bomb. Wondering why the hive's not dead yet. It's not a glitch. It's just because of how health enduring these bosses can be. It takes a while for it to get cleared. Wave 90. Ten more waves to go, YouTube. We got this. And we might actually get it done within the hour. Sweet. Actually, we'll go until we, we meet another boss run. Which may be at way 100, may not. May be beyond. Which is okay. Alright, wave 93. What we got? Okay, we got space splitters up the wazoo. Get out of here, winner. That was my only solution right now, you two. I'm just gonna show you, like, even just getting hit by that many lasers, it just did nothing. Like instead of me playing who line, whose line is it anyways, I'm playing whose health is it anyways. What does it matter? 
Okay, we got another winner and hide. Next four. I'll take that. Get off me, winner. Get out of here, winner. Man, that chaos and destruction. There we go. Get out of here, winner. You're gone. Alright. Let's end this, YouTube. Okay, come on. Enough of the enough of the kamikaze carriers. I'm already above 100, but I'm going to get to the next boss. Hope it's over Mallow. Just to end it off with the note. Oh, I picked up Mustang. Okay. I mean, what did I pick up now? Another drone. Alright, last set of bosses. And it is Hover Mouse, sweet. Alright, come on, eat it, Mallow. Eat my bomb. Let's end this. Do it up. Ooh, a lot of explosions. All right, guys. That's it for the run. So we are going to stop at wave 105. Here are our final stats. My health is way up. My mobility is slightly up. My fire rate. Is all over the place. So 7.8, or no, 16.8 to 10.5 to 8.4 because of the types of weapons I use. I have blaster, blaster, machine gun, but the damage output is also fluctuating too. Here's the final software list. That's a big list. So just absorb it all in. But. Yeah, I'm still stumped at what caused this bug to occur. Maybe because I had the mental access twice. Yeah, I have it. The mental access spectral hover tune up. Alright, hang on, I gotta go back up, then go back down. So I have one of them already. Oh, and it is the mental access spectral hover link, so there's different ones. The lower your health, the more you can use your dash, which I didn't realize was a thing. And then I got gas leak, that upgrade, the projectiles, and the mustang. So, so Link has lower your health, the more you can use your dash, while the other one tunes your dash and you use it twice as much. So that's probably what, that's probably the bug, because I had those two in combination, plus dealing with winter, plus using I fought the hole. Probably that set of combination is what causes to bug out. So. And that's that's it for Endless. And here's my Stellar.net to show you. I'm at wave 105. And, yeah. That's all I got, YouTube. I wanted this to be a perfect run. I wanted to at least do a 100 wave run. 
no bugs, no glitches, no frame rate drops, but this is going to be scientifically helpful data-wise so that the developer can fix it and tweak it before the update drops. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will be back with Stellar Phase Part 5. We will be continuing our normal mode. And I'll start going over a lot of these other ships because there are a lot of ships. I've only explained these two. I explained Corvette, kind of. You know my favorite ship is Ibris. Kilgore, Lily, and the Lost Eagle. Uh, okay. So anyways, thanks for watching. Longest video I've ever had on YouTube that's not a stream. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.